Look like somebody just licked my forehead. That's really shiny. Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I'm back with somebody else's hair. Guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. I had to take a big gulp for this wig. Hello? I feel like I'm gonna walk in a room like this. It's giving supermodel. Like this, this wig, this unit, this thing on my head is so pretty. I feel like if I just was walking down the street, y'all wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. Before we start getting into this wig, I want to ask y'all just a teeny, tiny, teeny, weeny favor. Can you subscribe? And can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post? I'm coming to here. I'm, ooh. I'm coming to you every single week with a new wig, vlogs, all types of stuff. So if you into that type of stuff, just go ahead and click subscribe. So let's just go ahead and get into this hair. Y'all see that? Look at that. Oh. The tracks, baby, the tracks. I just embarrassed myself. That's fine. Let me just smooth that down. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I want to say thank you to Kalai Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig is the Kinky Straight Lace Front Wig. It is 150% density. It is 16 inches long. Y'all know I did a little cut. I did a little snip, but it's 16 inches before. I cut it. It comes with pre-plucked, a pre-plucked hairline. And if you pop the hood on this wig, this wig, like I said, is a 13 by four lace frontal wig. So there's lace in the front, tracks in the back, and in under the cap, you have, I think it's four combs and adjustable straps in the back to keep it secure. When I first received this wig, of course, this wig came with gifts inside of the box and the gifts of course they're like your standard gifts you get your wig cap your satin scarf those big old lashes and hair clips also inside that box of course you get your unit this wig and when i received this wig when you pull it out of the box she gives blow dried she gives like poofy natural hair it's bigger fluffier very very soft textured hair i had to put my little my little press on nails in there to see what we could get her to look like. So I had to bleach the knots on this wig because it was giving ant pile. I need the knots to be invisible. Do you see a knot? But that's all I had to do to customize it. This wig came pre-plucked. I showed y'all the pre-plucked hairline. It was giving real scalp. But this wig was very, very, very low maintenance, especially since it's a shorter length. I did do some layers, prayer layers. I had to pray before I did it. And I did a little bit of curling and it turned out gorgeous. So if you wanna see everything I did to customize this wig and make her look like this, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the end with a coupon code and my final thoughts. Look at my little glass. Ooh. All that highlight under my eyes, girl, I still look sleepy, hello. Okay, let me start with the base. If you haven't been here before, y'all know I am no muss, no fuss when it comes to this wig, I mean, you take a little wig grippiana. I got this wig grip from um, Amazon. And instead of doing the ball cap method, y'all already know, I like to use this. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh my God, I drank too much tea. But I like to use the wig grip because it keeps the wig cap on, but we don't have to glue it down. Put on the wig cap over top. Ooh. Boom, ball cat method, she's a baldy. She's bald. Now let's go ahead and try on the wig. Little side note, I have on false lashes. Do you feel like sometimes, like the individuals, do you feel like it makes you look sleepy sometimes? Like I don't understand what's happening. Please don't look at my armpits, I need to shave. Okay, so let's go ahead and try on the wig. Ooh, we, oh, I saw my lashes. Look at her, look at that. So the hairline's already been pre-plucked and all I did was bleach the knots. So of course I washed the wig and I used the flattening souffle while the wig is, was wet so we can mold some of the hair backwards so it wasn't all cattywampus and whatnot. 
it seems like most of the plugation on this situation is up here and back here it could use a little bit more plucking now i haven't plucked in a long time and that's probably why i can't find my tweezers let's go ahead and start plucking this doesn't really need to be plucked really at all i think i'm gonna leave it alone right here it's just a little thickums you see that how i typically do it is i go behind the hairline you see how thick that is that should be thin i go behind the hairline and i just start plucking like so like it oh y'all i don't even have the motion down why is this weird to me this is weird you know how like you when you're in school like you're out of school for a summertime and then you try to go back to school you try to write and your hands really start throwing up gang signs that's what it feels like right now <laughs> this is so weird literally i'm not grabbing hair or at least i don't think i am maybe it's because i don't have a mirror oh i probably need to just look at what i'm doing <laughs> oh hey girls just grab a mirror and if you see it you can do it <laughs> if you build it it will come so we're gonna keep plucking like i got some scents and once I pluck to my desire, I part it just a little bit more. And then I pluck a little bit more. See? So we did a little bit of plucking. I didn't do too much because I gotta be honest, I didn't feel like it. I really didn't pluck anything right here. I tried to do most of my plucking on the sides. Bam, okay. We're gonna tint the lace. So the undertone is like a brownish, tannish color, which is good. Cause sometimes these lace, it be showing up like a blank piece of copy paper. Like it just be white and I can't do nothing with that. The undertone on this lace is really good, but the color, it's not gonna blend into my skin. It's gonna give scalp halo. So we're gonna go ahead and use a lace tint spray from Flawless Illusion. I already told y'all about her. This is that girl. This is the lace tint spray from Kayla and Derek. Love this stuff. It lasts a long time, but the only thing about it is that she is messy. So you just need to be careful when you're using this. When I tint my lace, this is how I typically do it. Turn the cap upside down and we take the lace tint spray and we just spray into it usually i'll do one or two layers depending on how light the lace tint is but i think i'm gonna do two layers and then afterwards you blow dry it on medium heat but this one only has three settings so i'm gonna blow dry it on high to set in the color so but i'm not gonna spray it right here i got too much white going over here i don't need to get on my clothes we're gonna go off to the side in the sink and spray it but i typically would go upside down and just spray it boom let me go ahead and do that off to the side. I'll come back and blow dry it and set it. And then we're gonna go back to applying the wig. It looks like a sunrise on my under eyes. Like what's going on? We've tinted the lace. Can y'all tell that there is a difference? Like it's blending into my skin much better. The next step is super easy, super simple. All we have to do is flatten this hairline. So, before I flatten my hairline, I like to find, like, where's my part gonna be? Like, do I want middle? Do I want side? Y'all know I love a middle part. Let me see what the side part to give. Y'all tell me down below whether or not you're a side part or a middle part person. Middle parts are my zhuzh. So, let's go ahead and flatten. And now, what we need to do is start to wax stick. The wax stick I like to use is the ZLA Hairline Master Wax Stick. You can use any wax stick or whatever you like to use, but this is the one I've been using. We're gonna flatten two ways. We're gonna flatten downwards and then we're gonna flatten backwards. Cause right now the hair is looking real, real, real hype. I like to take my wax stick, put a little bit in the area, and then I take my Andis Hot Comb Pull the wig back, girl. I'm not trying to burn my forehead. And we just flatten. See how flat that got? Like real, real, real flat. Yes. 
So we're gonna do the same thing going across and then we do it horizontally and then vertically. Let's just keep going across. So we're gonna part this way, clip it. You don't wanna use too much wax cause it starts to get like oily and weird. But as you can see, I got a clump of wax right here. I just be saying stuff. So we're gonna keep going across the hairline and then I'll come back when we start flattening like this. Okay, y'all, so we have flattened the hairline, and when I say it is flat, honey, it is flat. It got much flatter than I thought it would, and I think it's because I use this while the hair is wet. This the key. Next, all we have to do is cut off this lace so we can apply the wig. Some people do it the other way around. I don't know, y'all are wizards. When I cut my lace, some people use razors, some people use their fingernails, some people bite it off. <laughs> People be using all sorts of stuff to cut their lace. I use regular, degular, any shears. I've had these for years. It does the job. And how I typically cut my lace is I get real, 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 real uncomfortably close to a mirror and I just follow the hairline. So that's what we're gonna do. I cut down the middle first and then I just follow the hairline. We've already cut off the lace. We can go ahead and apply the wig. Then we style the hair, girl, then we're done. That's it. That's it. I think I wanna use this because the spray always travels down my forehead. So I'm gonna use the combo because these come from the same family. They're both ORS olive oil products. So I'm gonna put this on my forehead, let it dry, and then spray it because I don't want it to move around on my forehead. So, oh girl, I don't know why I'm deciding to venture into new territory. Okay, we're just gonna try it. I'm gonna use the olive oil fix it grip ultra hold gel and we're just gonna apply it to the forehead first i haven't done this in a minute and i didn't put on makeup today i didn't put makeup on my forehead because i have noticed that my wigs look a lot better when i don't put on makeup first so they say wait till it's tacky we're gonna go ahead and allow this to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and use my blow dryer just to get the gel tacky and then spray this over top. Ooh, girl, I got a combination. Okay, so now let's apply the wig and see what, see what happens. Oh no, girl, my forehead is giving Teresa Judice, Judice, what's her name? Pull the wig back, girl. Now the wig is in place. Let's hold it flat for a second. 
Have y'all noticed that your biggest hater is your ear tabs on your wig? I mean, like, really? It really don't want me to be right. Nobody hates hair. Okay, so next, I'm just gonna spray it down to solidify the lay down. Let's see. I'm gonna melt the lace using the ORS Olive Oil Fix It Wig Grip Spray, and I'm just gonna spray it over top. Obviously, I'm nervous. Okay. Okay, let's do one side. Oh. I'm just gonna blow dry it on cool. Ah, it looks really, really good. I'm happy with this. And it feels like secure. Oh, she's happy. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Spray it down, blow dry it, and then we're just gonna melt the hairline. Okay y'all, so we're just gonna go ahead and let this hairline melt down. But in the meantime, I think I need to get some of these. Y'all see this? There's some little bean, little tiny crimps left in the wig. I feel like I can get some of these little crimps out if I were to use my hot comb. This is just a try, not really sure. But we're just gonna get some of the crimps out so we can cut it and style it. So, let me see if this will work. Okay y'all, so while the hairline is melting, we can go ahead and cut this hair. Y'all see these ends? I want them to look even. Y'all know I love an even end. And this is how I do it. We gonna cut the ends of this and make it a little bit even. So I like to pull it together. I'm just cut across i think there's a better way to cut and make it even but that's the way i've been doing it and it's even see so now that that part is cut and basically even we can also do a little bit of layering first we take a piece up in the front we're gonna take these two pieces and we're gonna cut them to the like desired length and i want this part to be short this is too short and I know it, but I'm doing it anyway. Yes. This is gonna be our guide to where we want to layer the rest of the hair. Okay, so we're gonna layer the rest of the hair and this is gonna be our starting point and we're gonna go downwards. I start with like a mini triangle right here. And then I just angle from this point down. Is this the way to do it? I don't know. Is this how I'm gonna do it? Yes. Oh, that's an angle for you, ain't it? Okay, and then we go to the next point and do the same thing. And we're really angling downwards. I think. And next we're gonna do another triangle, like angle. Y'all see that? Oh, that part look good. And then we're gonna Start up at the chin and angle downwards. I always miss a piece. Oh, I get on my nerves. Last piece and we're gonna go down by the ear. We're starting from the lip. Yes. Does that look right? <laughs> I think it do. I think this is the best layering I've ever done. It's less choppy. And we're gonna do the same thing 
on the other side. Okay, the hair has been cut. I think I did better this time. We'll see when I straighten it, cause I'd be thinking that it's bomb, but then you can see the choppiness, but right now it doesn't look choppy. It just looks good. Now, let's see how good this hairline looks. Let's go ahead and see if she's melted, cause I did that new method. I feel like I invented it. It's my new method. Why am I making that face? It looks so good though. Wait, it feels more secure. Don't tuck too hard though. Them ear tabs, I told y'all I'll be hating. But look how good that hairline looks. I could do it without baby hairs, but I don't want to. Cause baby hairs fix all the mistakes that we make. Let's go ahead and get started doing baby hairs. Since our hairline looks really, really good, we can go very, very light on the baby hairs. I like to put my baby hairs in like a certain place. I like to put it in the cul-de-sac of the hair. <laughs> These baby hairs are a wee bit too thick. So I'm gonna just pluck a little bit out. Just to give it like a more realistic look. Ooh, yes, that's more like it. You see that? So now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and separate our hair away because my baby hairs like to get lost in the sauce. And I just take some scissors and cut it. I like short baby hairs, so we wanna cut them pretty short. Yes, those look nice. And I'm gonna take a baby hair brush, a soft one, and I'm going to use the ORS olive oil gel and we're gonna lay down these baby hairs Ooh! oh it looks so good we want it to look like real natural broken off hair <laughs> and then i like to just brush it back into the hairline look at that y'all see how the pluckation did a world of difference we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and the ear tabs and then i'll be back after melting I did like four baby hairs and it's nighttime outside. So let, let me go ahead and reveal these baby hairs because I think I did a good job. I like how my little headband matches. Look at it. Oh my God. It's crusty to climb up in here. Look. But look how it looks. This hairline is looking good. You know what? I need to quit trying to cake on makeup before I jump on camera because this makes a world of difference. We're not caking on makeup anymore. Let's go ahead and style the hair. It's already been cut. It's already been layered. You can leave it like this and just run out the door. 
but I want to see how this hair straightens. One thing I've experienced with kinky straight wigs is that curling it don't hold a, it don't hold a curl. So I'm gonna do a straightening curl using my T3. My cords are just all oh oop oop. We're gonna do a straightening curl with my little rocket ship flat iron. I love this flat iron. This is the T3 Smart Iron. Let's turn it on. Okay, so now you want to act up in front of company. All right, girl, turn on. They just need to get a power button. So while that heats up, we are gonna go ahead and add some heat protectant to the hair. I'm gonna use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth. I was about to read this whole thing like a storybook. Put y'all straight to sleep. This is a Tresemme heat protectant. I love this heat protectant because it smells so good and it's just easy to apply. So I'm just gonna spray it into the hair. I swear I treat my wigs better than I treat my own hair. It's a shame. So we're gonna run that through the hair. Next, we're just gonna section the hair away, part it down the middle, and section away this side. Section this hair away, bloom blow. And I'm gonna straighten from the roots down and I'm gonna try and curl, do a little curl. Don't hurt the ears. Okay, press it. Ooh. Oh, I have an idea. Y'all, have y'all seen her before? Do y'all know her? She is everything. This is my cheese spinning curl. So I'm gonna do a little bit of straightening and then hit it, hit it up with a little curl to see if I can get a little bump into it. So excited. Okay, so we're just gonna keep flat ironing and I'm gonna go in sections. Let me flat iron another piece and then I'll curl these pieces together. Here I go, doing too much. Don't I look like it's my, my real hair? Oh my God. It looks like somebody just licked my forehead. That's really shiny. So this is a cheese spinning curl. And I'm just gonna curl it away from the face. It did it. Okay. So we're gonna keep doing the same thing. Straighten little curl, straighten a little curl until we get to the top.
Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. Look at this. Y'all, I learned so many valuable lessons about the things I've been doing wrong with applying my wigs today. And it looks, you can tell, look at this wig. I mean, can y'all see the curls in this hair? Now, like I said before, kinky straight hair and kinky straight wigs don't really hold a curl. They just don't. But what I love about it, it has great movement. And even though it doesn't hurt, hold a curl, it will hold like a beachy wave. I'm just trying to temper your expectations, girl, because you're going to get out here and curl your hair for about two hours and it's going to stay for two minutes. And I don't want that to happen to you. Altogether, this hairstyle, this hair looks fan fantastic all you need to do is a little preparation now you can pull her out the box and just throw it on your head if you want to but a little bit of prepping flattening all that stuff makes this wig look professional so let me go ahead and turn around let me show you what it looks like in the back because it's not super thick at all i'm giving a shanti sideburn today and this is what it looks like in the back you know my hair be splitting in the middle who called me? I want to say thank you to Klai Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Of course, I have a coupon code and if you're interested in this wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. And if you would like to get some extra money off, grab your sisters, we about to clip this coupon. You can get 25% off your purchase of this wig using the code MY25. That is 25% off using the code MY25. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love, love, love you all. Grab your glasses. Let's cheers. I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.